We're team no reservations, and we're about to get this venture started. Let's go. The Mongol Rally is an event where a bunch of people that just want to get away from the mundane everyday life, they buy a junk car and drive it from Czech all the way to Ulanude, Siberia and see where the adventure takes you. Me and Dan uh, originally signed up for this and we know we travel really well together. We've known each other all the way since high school and we had met Pete last year in Vietnam. When we met Pete we thought he would just be like a, a good third person to add and kind of mix it up a little bit. We're gonna do this Mongol rally. Are you in? And he's like, we're driving a car 10,000 miles from, from Europe to Asia into Siberia. And I'm like, I like that. So do I get a, do I get a trophy truck? <laughs> and he's like, no, you get a, 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 a piece of crap Fiat Panda. I'm like, that's a challenge. All right, I'm in. With the Mongol rally, it's basically a no rules kind of thing. The only rules they do have is the car can't be over 1.2 liters. It's a whopping 40 horsepower. The whole point is to drive something that probably won't make it or shouldn't make it. I, I don't know how to say this. It's the most crappiest car you can get. We don't really have a plan for when our car breaks down because it's going to break down. It's going to happen. Bought the car uh, a couple months ago, just taking everything apart, changing out parts that were broken. So we got a good like understanding of what this car is and like how, how to repair it. I think we'll, we'll be okay or we're just going to put our thumb out and ask, see if we can attach to somebody else and get a tow. We basically are just have a small cook set and a tent and we're gonna try and rough it through everything and just take on whatever challenges we can. We already have been living off like rice and cut up wieners out of a can. Uh, because, you know, we, we're spending a lot of time driving and so sometimes we get into a town and it's closed. So wherever we land, we land. Uh, we've already, up to this point, camped in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> Creature comforts aren't needed, especially for something like this. The Mongol Rally, their general idea of getting from point A to point B is called the unroute. You can choose wherever you want, north, south. We're doing the southern route, which is gonna take us uh, through, down through Istanbul, Turkey, Iran, and up through the stands, all back up to Russia, and then down to Mongolia. So it's kind of the longest and most difficult route, and we chose this just because it's gonna push us to our limits to see what we can actually get through and give us some of the most diverse culture in the world. We're doing 26 different countries, um, including Iran, which right now is a little controversial. What the hell's wrong with you? That's our, 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 our questions that we get every day. What is wrong with you? The culture is a beautiful culture in Iran and the Middle East, and then going through the stands. So it's, we're, we're, well, the idea is we're gonna see a whole different world than what we see in mainstream media. We, we were having the hardest time coming up with a team name and we kept kicking things around, something that was actually like mean something to us. Uh, and we were really inspired by Anthony Bourdain and the way that he travels. Um, and with him passing last year, we thought it'd be a really cool thing to do homage to him and name our team after the, his TV show. With this whole rally, Aside from the adventure and creating memories, we are creating a short film documentary to showcase the, the beauty of these countries that not a lot of people have seen or have seen, but see in a very different view. We want to push our travels out into the world to get other people to open up that it's okay to travel anywhere in the world, that people are amazing everywhere you go. It's, not a big scary world out there. It, for us to make and document this crazy adventure, uh, it's, it's really honestly challenging because you have to balance with, we can't have too much weight in the car because it's so little, nor do we have the room, um, but we also want to have quality. Like nobody wants to watch a crappy video. So for us, like shooting on higher quality gear, having stuff that we know isn't going to fail. Um, I've had experiences in the past where I bought a cheap memory card or something like that and it goes bad on you. And all of a sudden, like you just lost days worth of stuff because it might be a week or two before you can upload things to the cloud or back things up. And so if you don't have quality stuff and it just disappears on you, you, have, you just lost a whole chunk of a very important story. Well, we know that with Kingston, we're able to capture this moment and know that 
we don't have to worry about that in the end. That all our, all our images, all our films will be safe. Kingston's everywhere and that means we can be in any environment. The, the route takes us through so many different places that we kind of experience almost every terrain, every type of weather. Depending on how much of the road is done in Mongolia this year, almost 50% of our driving will be off-road. Our car is never not bouncing. And if you have a traditional like spinning hard drive, it, it's not gonna work. Like that hard drive will be bad by the time you get somewhere because it's a non-stop just bouncing just doo -doo -doo the whole time. <laughs> So the pre-launch for the Mongol rally is in a place they call Junk Town. We had no idea what to expect. But yesterday we pulled into the, the launch party and we pull in and it's just a post-apocalyptic themed like theme park, which was incredible. It is Mad Max, more than Mad Max, it's crazy. The people are such amazing artists. There's cars everywhere that are just destroyed. Um, and it just, it, it matches the attitude of the rally so well. And just being out in the middle of the Czech Republic in a derelict, rundown junk town, is, it's just such a cool setting. The, the area itself is really cool because just for the event, you get to meet so many people from all around the world and we're all one common ground. We're driving to Mongolia. The world is actually filled with amazing people and we have an opportunity to interact with people, experience different culture in a whole new level. We honestly do not know where this adventure is gonna take us. We don't even know where we're going later today. So it's gonna be just an adventure every day. We're not here to see all the tourist spots. We're here to observe and experience the culture. There's no better way to experience a culture than being with the people. And I think it's just gonna be incredible to see everything that we're about to embark on.